The doctrine of transferred intent holds that if A intends to harm B, but accidentally harms C instead, A's intent to harm B will be treated legally as an intent to harm C. If that sounds hopelessly confusing, watch the video Tabasca vs. Scherzer, which should make it clear. Celeste Basca's teenage daughter was hosting a party at their house. Two of the boys attending the party, Harry Scherzer and Calvin Madrigal, got into a fight. Basca yelled at them to stop and stepped between them just as each threw a punch at the other. In their excitement, both boys struck Basca. Scherzer hit her in the face, and Madrigal got the back of her head. She lost several teeth and suffered injuries to her neck and jaw. Slightly less than two years after this incident, Basca sued Madrigal and Scherzer, alleging that she'd been injured by their negligence. She argued that the boys had unintentionally struck her with blows intended for one another, and that their negligence and carelessness was the cause of her injuries. The statute of limitations for actions and negligence was two years. Madrigal and Scherzer testified that they'd intended to hit one another, and that their actions therefore should have constituted assault and battery, which were both intentional torts. They argued that statute of limitations on actions for assault or battery was one year, and Basca's lawsuit had therefore been filed too late. The court held that the doctrine of transferred intent operated to make Basca's cause of action for assault and battery, not negligence. It held that her case was barred by the one-year statute of limitations and dismissed her case. The Court of Appeals held that for a tort to be considered intentional, it had to be directed at the person injured. In other words, the defendant had to intend to commit assault and battery on the plaintiff. Because Madrigal and Scherzer had intended to hit one another, they hadn't committed assault and battery on Basca. It held that negligence applied here because the blows to Basca were unintentional. It reversed the dismissal of Basca's lawsuit. Madrigal and Scherzer appealed to the Kansas Supreme Court.